Well, in Enugu State, women are also calling for an end to sexual and gender-based violence in the country. Bamedele Ajayi has details. The impact of rape is traumatizing as most victims are faced with a stigma, while absence of forensic evidence is an impediment to the prosecution of offenders. Women Aid Collective, Southeast, reveals that it received reports of more than 156 cases and handled over 25 sexual and violent crimes against women and girls in the zone between the months of April and May 2020. Private public spaces, women are raped at in the women are abused domestic at domestic level, incest is on increase, defilement of uh, young girls, minors is on increase, adult women are raped. Within this pandemic, Wakol handled over 25 cases of rape in April and May. And on top of that, we handled 156 cases in April and May of sexual and gender-based violence put together. It's very, very hard to prove this rape case in court. But with all our agitations, we are hoping that something will be done, technologically and otherwise. The group takes its demand for justice to Edugun State House of Assembly. The march terminated at the government house in Edugun. The lockdown have forced the abusers the opportunity to access their victims, especially with domestic violence and sexual offenses. For every 10 cases of rape, you may not have conviction, you may have only one. So start with maybe only three will get reported. And then note that every Nigerian woman, four out of Nigerian women and girls are likely to be victims of rape and other forms of sexual violence, including sexual harassment in their lifetime. Rape is not gender specific. It has to do with both genders on the female folk and on the male folk. And so, we that's why you see some of us here who are guys, who are men in this place, to show support to our, to the females. Men are also not uh, uh, endorsing any man who is going out to rape any girl. And we are equally saying that we don't want women to equally rape men. So it's a two-way traffic. For a nation of civil society organizations in Enugu State, kick off the campaign from the state as for assembly. Right here, they are the government house to press up the demand on government and women in Nigeria to come up with programs that will nip in the board the excesses of rape cases that is on the rise so that girls and women will be safe from these monsters called rapists. Getting justice for rape and gender based violence perpetrated in society, empirical evidence is required to establish the claims by victims and their prosecuting counsels. Bamdela Jai, TVC News, Enugu.